Hi everyone, it's Roy Derrick again, and I'm gonna share with you some more renovation tips for your flipping crazy project. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, if you're buying a property to renovate it and make money to, because you're gonna sell it on, then each individual room is what you need to focus and pre-plan your budget on. We're gonna go into the kitchen and I'm gonna show you an example of what we've done in this property to create more value, more profit for you. So, when we go into this kitchen, imagine it was derelict, it was old, it was 1960s, 70s, it was in a dreadful state. What we've done <coughs> is we've completely opened it up. We removed the wall that was round about here on the doorway. So instead of a little dining room and the kitchen, it was dark, it was dingy. We've opened it up and we've created this open plan modern kitchen. It's really important that when you're considering on how much to spend on flipping or renovating a property, that you do your homework. Kitchens, they can vary in price from a thousand pound up to, well, 60, 70, even 80 thousand pound. It's important that you pre-budget everything before you start. Give an example. This kitchen, as I say, was dark and dingy. What we've now got is a nice, modern, simple, but bright, fresh kitchen. White gloss, doesn't matter what color you're going for, as long as it's neutral and it appeals to the, well, the average person. Don't get too personal on whatever you do when you're putting ideas into a property to flip. You've got to be able to attract the majority, not the minority. That is a golden rule. So, this kitchen, as I say, it's classy, it's modern, it's simple. Simple chrome handles, nice oak grey worktops, lighting under the fence, all these little features, they add more to the, to, the, uh, to the expense, but they also add more to your profit, if you do your figures right. Nice, bright, lots of light windows, we put it in an extra window over there. Modern radiator, it gives that modern, expensive feel. <clears throat> Again, people wouldn't maybe go to the expense of putting in a nice lighting feature. I do, or I did on this property because I knew I wanted to reach a value, a resale value that was going to be appealing to people to pay. So, it's important when you do a kitchen is that you cost it all up. Appliances, whether it's electric or gas or, you know, um, whatever you decide to put in here, they all vary in price. Kitchens vary in price so much, you need to make sure you plan your kitchen, you budget for it, and you stick to your plans. Don't let your enthusiasm run away with you. I've done it, I still do it on times, um, but that's just me. But you've got to ensure that whatever you spend on a kitchen, including things like the skirting boards, the laminate flooring, the sockets, all of these things add up money. For example, brushed steel sockets. A lot of people, they could save maybe four pound a socket by putting in plastic, white plastic. That's okay, there's nothing wrong with that. It depends on who your market is going to be at the end. So, we went for higher spec because we knew we were gonna ask quite a bit of money for this property. We knew it was going to attract our big family who, you know, working class family, who would be able to afford this type of property. If we were going to rent it, we would never ever go to this expense, unless again it was executive rental. But this particular property would attract that. So do your homework, but a kitchen, oh, you can just do so much with the kitchen, so many different ideas. Right? And what you do in one property, you can do in the next property, the next property. So when you've done one, you can use the same ideas in another one. When you do your second or your third or your fourth, you can change your ideas, mix and match them. It becomes easier. But your first, second and third property, you need to stick to the golden rules that I teach you. Okay, so that's, that's you know, some tips on how to renovate or what to look out for in a kitchen. Until next time, See you soon.